Hey guys, Michael here with American Resistance and today we're on the range. This video today is for the new students looking to take a tactical class. The biggest question we get is, what do I need to bring? What gear do you guys want to see? It depends on the class you're taking, whether pistol or rifle, uh, and what skill level you're going into. For this video, this is mainly going to be geared towards the new students and we get asked this a lot. So, uh, first things first, uh, we'll start out with rifle. If you guys are taking a rifle class, there's a few things I would recommend. Um, one, if you're a new shooter, I wouldn't recommend going out and fully dressing out your rifle and getting it what you think is uh, correct. Uh, we see this mistake a lot. We see a lot of add-ons to the rifle, uh, and then we find out, the student finds out when they get to the class, some of the stuff they put on the rifle isn't gonna work and doesn't fit to where they want it, and so they struggle through the whole class, uh, whether it's <clears throat> body manipulation on the weapon, whatever the case is, and so we spend a little bit more time in the class readjusting gear rather than actually learning and so what I'm gonna cover today is basically how you should show up as a new student to that class and how your weapon and gear and what you'll need so let's go ahead and start off with the rifle um, lots of questions on these so uh, try to bear with me if I miss anything guys just put it down in the comments and I'll do my best to uh, get those questions answered so just bring um, I tell everybody two is one one is none if you have one rifle, bring it. If you have two, bring both because Murphy's Law takes effect and when one breaks, we don't want to spend time trying to fix it in the shop. We just want to continue training. So uh, bring one rifle. I would recommend bringing it slick down as possible. Uh, maybe just a set of irons. Uh, if you have a red dot, whatever the case is. But as far as all your add-ons, your sling and all that, uh, you're going to find out when you get through the class and you actually start moving around where your sling attachments should be uh, based on the gear you're wearing. So uh, try not to get too too out of control before you get to the class because you're going to find out, uh, again, what works and what doesn't work. Um, for the sling, guys, I would recommend, we see a lot of them out there, uh, just a standard two-point. Uh, the best ones we found are like the Blue Force, or uh, which I think they call the Vickers Sling, or the uh, Viking Tactics uh, two-point. No, I'm just tighten it up or loosen it. It's all done by a pull strap. So... Uh, for your rifle, though, I would go ahead, have your sling and a uh, strip down as possible as far as optics and accessories, and bring two, and then bring plenty of extra of, uh, rounds and some extra magazines just in case. So Next up on the list, uh, for vest and uh, plate carriers, etc., go ahead and bring, if you have it, go ahead and bring it. If you don't have it, I wouldn't recommend, at least for my classes, uh, going out and splurge buying just to have something for the class, because what you'll find out is what works what doesn't work what fits you what doesn't fit so uh, when you come out to a class with us we'll have plenty of different options and you can try it all before you buy it and waste money next thing along with uh, vest is a battle belt of some sort if you don't have a battle belt again i wouldn't run out and buy it for your first class we have some here that you can try and see if you like them or not some people prefer to use them some people don't it's just a personal preference but um uh, if you got one, go ahead and bring it, and we'll do our best to uh, make it work for you. All right, so next up, the obvious, ear protection and eye protection. Now for eye protection, you don't have to run out and get the Oakleys or whatever. Uh, if you do, I would recommend, uh, just because of these, they have the swap out lens. So if you're doing any kind of low lights or um, maybe you're indoors, CQB, whatever the case, and you want a clear lens instead of the shaded lens, you just have that option to pop back and forth depending on your environment. So eyes and ears are a must. Uh, next, of course, blink, bring plenty of water. Uh, you know, don't don't be out there in a training class in July trying to drink on you know Dr. Peppers and etc. It's just not going to do you do you any good. Uh, go ahead. Uh, whenever you come out to your class, make sure you bring plenty of gun oil. Uh, we supply it here if you need it, but it's always a good thing just to have in your pack up. Electric tape is good so that when you are adjusting your gear and you've got extra material or whatever the case, maybe a band aid for in the field. Uh, electrical tape is king. Uh, spare mags, always a good thing. Flashlight, uh, you'll see that I've got mine taped onto a lanyard so I can wear it around my neck. If we're doing low light training or whatever. Um, so flashlights are an awesome thing to have. Uh, gloves, kind of a preference thing. If you like wearing them, you do. I, personally, I don't like shooting with them, but if it's cold out, you know, whatever the case is, it's good, it's good just to have them on hand. Uh, this is a, uh, a rain slicker. It's just like a, like a poncho that you can throw over. 
So if you're going to an area, make sure you check your weather. If it's a you know heavy rain area, whatever the case, just make sure you bring inclement weather gear in case. Some instructors will stop training in the rain. Some will continue. Really depends on what the students you know students and instructor feel like doing and how heavy the rain is. Uh, next up, big one is bring your cleaning kit and some some uh, armoring tools. Something in case something goes wrong, you want to clean your weapon on break, whatever the case is. Just make sure you have all that stuff with you. You'll see I've got both my bags. So what I have is my immediate action bag. This has just got a couple bottles of water and two extra mags for rifle, two extra mags for pistol, and that's all it is. It's just a quick little uh, satchel bag. And then I also bring my day pack, which is my technical bug out bag. This has got, you know, everything that you see here is all condensed down into my bag and it goes everywhere with me. But I urge to go ahead and bring these and so that you can compare what you have based to what other shooters out there and take the recommendations. Uh, it's You're going to exchange a lot of information between you and the, not only the instructor, but the other students as well. So bring your stuff and you guys can all kind of exchange ideas and how you do pack ups. Uh, there is no right or wrong, guys. Don't let anybody tell you that. It's, you know, whatever you need, whatever you think you need is what you need. I also bring a, uh, this is just basically an armoring and range bag. This carries, you know, spare ammo, uh, spare mags, spare tools, uh, spare hearing and eye protection in case uh, any of my other stuff breaks or quits. You may want to put some extra batteries if you're using electronic ears. Um, but my range bag is just where I keep all that. But in a nutshell, guys, this is pretty much what you would want to bring to a shooting class. And... To kind of sum it all up, you would basically want your rifle, your pistol, uh, a holster of some sort for sure, a uh, spare mag holster. And again, if you don't have all this stuff, don't worry about it, especially coming out with a class with us. Uh, we're going to we're gonna supply all that stuff to make sure and show you what works and what doesn't work and make sure you're not out there just buying a bunch of Amazon junk that, you know, is pretty much worthless. Getting back in, spare tools, um, you know, a pair, a pair of uh, cutter dykes. Maybe an optic tool of some sort in case any kind of optics come loose or uh, bolts, whatnot. So, so guys, I hope this helps. Uh, we get this question lots. What, uh, what should I bring? Basically, the most important thing is go ahead and bring your positive mental attitude ready to learn. Uh, egos can be left at the gate. You can go ahead and leave that out. You know, as, as an instructor, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to teach somebody who is trying to teach you. And uh, it just makes for a, a, a very difficult learning environment. But as far as the gear you need to bring, if you don't have it all, don't rush out and buy it because what happens is you're going to throw a good bit of that stuff in the trash. So come out if it's your first class and we'll supply everything that you need to test and see see what works for you. You know, different body shapes and sizes uh, is going to change what gear that you can and can't wear or want to or don't want to wear. So I hope this helps, guys. If there's any questions, anything I missed, put it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get all that answered up for you. I appreciate you guys tuning in and hope to see you out on Resistance Range. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.